Hi everyone, today I'm here with a video, process video for you showing an art journaling page for 49 and Market using the Spectrum Sherbet Strawberry Lemonade and Tidal Wave collections. I really love this collection for doing art journaling pages and so I'm going to show you a couple that I've done and then I will show you the page that I'm going to give you the process video for. Um, and I may have another process video coming up on a 49 and Market Spectrum Sherbet Collection art journaling page soon. So I do have one recorded. So the first page that I've got to show you is this one, which has used the Spectrum Sherbet um, washi tapes as the first layer on this art journaling page and some of the beautiful leaf rub-ons here. And you can see that they go over the texture paste, um, I've added paint and stuff to this page and the rub-ons and the washi tape work perfectly. So this page is a double spread. Um, again, I've used washi tape, rub-ons, the laser cuts, and over texture paste and paint and it has worked just beautifully. I also cut one of the frames here and put two thirds or three quarters on this page and a quarter on this page washi tape across the middle to tie the two pages together. People have asked me about composition, so I'd say this is a mirroring, mainly a mirroring, but you can type composition. But what I've done is made it a bit heavier and higher on this page and a bit lighter with the frame, but largely the same elements on both sides. But then I've tied it together with the washi tape through the middle and the paint going across through the middle as well. Um, there's this one, which is a fairly simple single page, which has paint, washi tape, rub on leaves, and then some more washi tape on the sides. There's also splashes of paint behind, and I've used a die cut butterfly over some gold thread, which you should be able to see if I move this up higher. So you can see the gold thread there. So that was a simple page, but I really love that color combination. Then this is the page I'm going to show you the process video for today. It's a very similar composition to that last page with, um, because when I did that last page, I thought, oh, I really want to do this again with a few more layers in it um, and film it to do a process video because I really like the composition with a piece down the middle. Um, you probably have seen with some of the layouts that I've done recently that I've been really liking this middle composition. Um, it's just something that's taking my fancy at the moment. So that's why I'm doing this quite a bit in my art journaling pages and in my scrapbooking pages. If you're not an art journaler, um, you may want to start trying to dabble in it. Um, I have quite a few journals on the go and I'm finding that working in my art journal really helps me with composition and trying new techniques that I then want to use in my scrapbooking pages. So you saw that previous page with the center composition. I had done that and then I did similar pages with similar sorts of um, items from the collection in my scrapbooking pages. And now I've come back and done a more detailed version of that center composition. So a, um, a vertical um, composition in the middle of the page um, in my art journal. And then I may take this sort of idea and then build it again into a scrapbooking page or some other off the page item. And I love this technique of combining the texture paste. So you will see here the detail of the texture paste with the watercolor paint and then the rub-ons over it and those many layers and then splatters of the pink paint and some of the splatters of the blue with the rub-ons that you get a lot of layers. So there's washi tape under there as well and the laser cuts and then laser cut flowers and the butterfly elements. And you'll see how I bring that all together in this process video. So I really hope that you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please put them below and I'll, I will endeavor to come back and answer them. Um, and if you enjoy this video, please post a comment and I'll try and do some more. Thank you very much, bye. So moving on to the process part of this video, I'm going to start with the four inch lace washi tape and I'm ripping the edges off both sides of this. 
The art journal I work in is 12 inches by 9 inches from Ranger and I like this because of its heavy paper. So I would say that this washi tape is 7 to 8 inches long and then as I said I've torn the um, edges off it to give it an irregular shape. These lace strips are from the laser cut pack, um, the strawberry lemonade laser cuts and I am going to use a combination of the pink acetate leaves and the leaves from the leaf rub on set and I am going to use those in combination to give a layered effect but at the moment I'm just laying out the main elements to see where it's all going to sit and then I'm actually going to add some more textural details with texture paste through a stencil and some painting before I finally stick down these elements. So I'm just trying to get the layout sorted here and now you can see that I have a stencil. So this is a dot stencil. I absolutely love dots and circles and I am just putting a um, white texture paste randomly through this stencil around the strip of washi tape so when this dries it will give me that texture and when I add watercolor paint over it it will the watercolor will move around those stenciled texture paste okay so this is dry now and you really do need to set this aside until it's completely dry and I'm just putting some water down first and then some yellow watercolor paint so you could use inks um you could use acrylic ink or you could use um, a, stamp, a water activated stamp pad um, and just smush that and get the ink out of it to, to do this effect. You don't have to use watercolour paint. I'm just making sure I've got plenty of water around where I'm applying the paint so the paint will move and end up with a really nice soft edge around it. So I've started with the yellow, which works well with the... Um, yellow in the strawberry lemonade and then I'm adding some blue and when the aquary blue meets the yellow I also end up with some green so that brings in the colors from the tidal wave side of the collection so now it means I've got all the colors so now I've put the pieces back across the washi tape where I want them to sit so they haven't been stuck down yet but I've got them there for placement so that I can um, look at where I'm going to put my rub-on leaves. So I'm just starting to apply these rub-ons and as I said I'm using the rub-ons in combination with the acetate leaves. I absolutely love these rub-on leaves. They're so pretty and it really makes for a nice mix using the smaller rub-on leaves with the larger acetate leaves. Um, and if you are familiar with my work and have seen my previous um, 49 and Market projects you'll know that I've done layouts before with a combination of the acetate and rub on leaves and I did get this that idea from doing this art journaling page um, and also this central sort of mirrored design I've also done scrapbooking layouts in this sort of idea and again I got this idea from working on my um, in my art journal so I've stuck down one of the lace strips just so I know where the center piece is um, that I'm putting these rub on leaves um, along and I'm just going to continue to add more of the rub-ons before I finally stick down the remaining lace strip and the acetate leaves. So I'm going to apply quite a few of the um, rub-ons. So that's my second piece of lace down and then one of my acetate leaves. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use the second. Oh, yep, I've got a smaller acetate leaf there, leaf there that I am going to stick down. And then I'm going to keep adding some more rub-ons. Um, you can see that these rub-ons are fantastic. They're applying over everything that I've put underneath. So washi tape, laser cuts, texture paste, watercolour paint. They apply perfectly over everything. I absolutely love them. They are the highest quality. Um, although they come with an applicator tool in the packs, I always just use my thumbnail to rub them down. Uh, they apply very, very easily. Um, no problems with them lifting and no problems with them not coming off the, the background paper. 
So I've put a few single leaves as well so it looks like they're falling down from the branches that are along the, the column, that centre column. Um, and I love that effect of those single leaves just drifting down. I think it's really pretty. Okay, so I think that might be the last of the rub-ons. And now I'm just, I believe, going to add a phrase strip. So that's also from the laser cuts. And now I'm going to look for a butterfly. So I'm looking through the strawberry lemonade laser cuts here and I didn't find the right butterfly that I wanted. So it ends up that I'm going to make myself a butterfly because I try a few different ones here from the laser, laser packs, but I, I think I wanted a pink one at this stage. And I'd used quite a number of the pink ones from the laser cuts on some previous layouts. And so I just didn't have the right piece there. So I ended up deciding that I would use a rub-on, one of the large pink butterfly rub-ons, and apply that to a piece of cardstock and fussy cut it out. So I believe that's what I'm going to do now. So I find my rub-ons, select the one that I want. Here they are. So in these packs you get um, phrases, you get splotches, um, and you get the butterflies, and you get some more geometric type um, lines um, with paint splotches so there's lots of different rub-ons um, in these packs so this is the butterfly as I said I applied it to just some white plain white flat cardstock and fussy cut it out and then it makes essentially my own die cut and I'm going to stick that at the top of the column I just use wet glue to stick these down um, my glue of choice is art glitter glue um, I do like it because it dries clear and non tacky and just sticking the strip down there now you could leave this page how it is but on on reflection I looked at it and oh I apologize I am going to add some pink splatters so that's the final paint step now I let this dry overnight and I came back to it and I decided that I wanted to add some more blue elements in because of the blue in the watercolor paint that I had put in the background so now I'm going to bring in more of the tidal pool tidal wave I don't know why but I always do want to call it tidal pool but some more of the tidal wave collection so the blues and greens so we have the pinks yellows and oranges are in the strawberry lemonade side of the collection and the blues and greens are in the tidal wave side of the collection so I'm going to add some of these geometric line um, splotch type rub-ons um, around the outside so I'm just adding some extra paint splotches there and now I have um, some more of those elements on the left side. So I'm going to balance these um, blue sections by putting that large one at the top at the right and put the one on the left halfway down and then another one on the right but much closer into the column, so not right out on the edge. Um, and I've got a couple of individual little paint splotches there that I'm going to add as well. And I'll put another one of those on over on the left hand side as well. Again, it's about um, creating balance and drawing the eye around the page. So by having the blue spread out like that around the page, it draws your eye around the art journaling page. So just another one of those little splotches there. Okay, so next step, I want to add some extra butterflies. Originally, I was thinking I might layer a blue one over the pink one, but I didn't like that. So I'm ending up um, sticking one blue one there at the moment, and I want to add some more blue elements on the column. So I have some of the laser cut um, foliage and flowers from the Tidal Wave laser cuts, and I'm just sticking those down there. So there's some beautiful blue violets and a branch of little blue flowers and then I have a chipboard word here and I don't want it too thick because I don't like elements that are too thick in my art journal because obviously it's a book so I've just peeled one of the layers of chipboard off the back and put some glue on it and stuck it down so it's much thinner now because the chipboard is quite nice and heavy but for an art journal book I don't want it that heavy so I just 
um, you know, made it thinner. So I've picked out a second blue butterfly as well. And it, so one blue butterfly below the pink and one small blue butterfly up above the pink one. And then I'm going to add some strips of washi tape underneath the title. So now rather than it just being a simple word phrase, I have the large word of grow and the, and the phrase. And now I'm just sticking some of the little strips of washi tape. So there's the four inch lace washi tape and then there's a, the assorted pack. So here's some close up shots of my page. And you'll be able to see here all of the detail and layers and texture of this art journaling page once you are able to see up close. I'm really happy with how this turned out and I hope you enjoyed this process video and I look forward to seeing you here again using 49 and Market products. Thanks very much. Bye.